kid, I've always wanted to be some glorious, loved pop star, you know? I have super cool clothes and I perform amazing shows and everyone loves me and they buy tickets to my show. And so the first step to becoming the pop star of my dreams was creating a single. So uh, now I feel like I should talk about what this video actually is and what it is is me talking about how I made a single. Really freaking cool. Um, obviously I could not create a single alone. I don't have the skills <laughs> to navigate that. My sister and I grew up making music together. We used to sing covers all the time. She had just graduated from the Berklee College of Music and she turned to me one day. She just kind of went, Hey Ellie, do you want to start a duo? I said, hell yes I do. So, we started a duo. <laughs> we don't really have any sort of producer on our hands or anyone who could master our creations. So, who can we employ? Oh right, my sister is dating a freaking fantastic musician. Sammy got on board. Uh, Sammy is my sister's boyfriend. He is the most probably the most talented musician I've ever heard. I'll play a clip right now. So he is amazing. Like the best guitarist I have ever met and he also happens to have a great passion for producing music. the same time that my capstone was due, so was my sister's for her university projects. Her capstone was very similar to mine in that she needed to create a single. Around December, we really started to iron things out. We started working. Very quickly, we realized the challenges of working together as a family. We all have pretty similar tastes in music when it comes to a broad outlook on it. However, when we really got into the details of individual sounds, it got very complicated, which proved to be a challenge, to say the least. I didn't really realize how much went into making music before I got into this, and that was a really shocking thing for me. I always thought that music was just as simple as writing the song on an instrument, so having the chords, having the lyrics, and then producing it as this really broad concept, but I didn't really realize how intricate production is and how we really just don't give credit to our producers. They're the makers behind the music. It's so incredibly difficult to make things that are polished because I thought that it was gonna be easy and I was a fool. With COVID, it became extremely hard to be passionate about things that I previously found myself loving and wanting to pursue as a career. And that was a really scary feeling for me where I started out planning all this stuff to be a, a musician and then realizing when the project was almost done that I didn't know if I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. And the thing is with music, as Sammy says in this clip right here, if it's something that you're like pretty on the fence about, not even for financial reasons, but in terms of like, what do I want to do for a living? If that's something that you're not so sure of, you know, I maybe might not be the best thing for you. You need to be all in it. And if you're not all in, then you're out. All this to say, we talked it through and we ended up making a demo. And then we ended up making another demo and another one. We ended up toughing it through and singing a bunch of vocals last second. Honestly, I think it came out great. <laughs> Recording vocals was really difficult for me. No. Oh, how much vibrato should I be doing there? What am I doing? Oh, fa I like singing and feeling very natural about it and, you know, just whipping out a little run and feeling sassy and fun about it. Um, 
but when you're making a single, you really need to perfect every single line. Every single word you say needs to have intent, otherwise it may sound messy. What it inevitably ended up happening is that I had to sing vocals and delete them and then sing them and delete them because they weren't exactly perfect or my pronunciation of a word didn't perfectly match up with how my sister sang it and it kind of got to me i can't even lie it did get to me a little because i had never analyzed my voice like that i had never considered my vocal tone and my pronunciation until now and it was really hard for me to really sit down and look at that but I did and I honestly think I came out a better musician because while I was looking at all of my vocals and critiquing myself so harshly I also figured out some things that I needed to work on and I figured out ways that I could blend better with my sister both in real life and over recording and it was kind of eye-opening to see what parts of my voice I needed to work on. We ended up tuning the vocals and sending them off to Sammy for him to master the track. And that is when we created the final product. This song meant a lot to me because in the process of creating it, I became a better person. Honestly, I think I did. Because in the beginning of this whole journey, I was not feeling so hot about myself. And near the end, I was like, damn, I'm pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. Just hopping on real quick because I forgot to tell you guys the name of the song. I don't know how I forgot, but this is Gratitude.
I am so glad that I did this. I feel so blessed and honored that I had such amazing musicians backing me up this entire time and informing me and teaching me everything that I needed to learn and I don't know, it, it was a great learning experience and I'm just, I am happy. Anyways, catch you later.